The honorary degree will now be conferred. Mr. President, will you present the honorary degree candidate, Lou Pisaglia. Mr. Chancellor, the name Louis Pasaglia is synonymous with athletic excellence in Canada. An exceptional athlete, gracious sportsman, and inspirational role model, Lou has brought great honor to his sport, his community, and this university. Intimations of his future glory appeared early. A talented quarterback for Notre Dame High School, he came to our university in 1972 and quickly proved himself an outstanding student athlete. His quick intelligence and fierce concentration evident on the gridiron and in the classroom. During four seasons with the Klan, he recorded 175 career points and was a two-time NAIA District 1 and All-Northwest All-Star. But this was just the beginning of what proved to be an unparalleled career in the Canadian Football League. In 1976, Louis proudly joined the home team, the BC Lions, and for the next 25 years, thrilled fans with his daring play. Game after game, he lived out the dreams of thousands who imagined themselves kicking that winning field goal. And he did so with all the grace, humor, and humility of true sports heroes. He broke almost every imaginable career punting and field goal record he still holds records for the most seasons played, the most games played, and the most points scored in a regular season. He was a CFL All-Star four times and led the Lions to Grey Cup wins three times. Throughout these many years, Louis has remained a man committed to the community. He has extended his hands to thousands of people, encouraging them to excel. He has maintained close ties with this university through the annual Louis Pesaglia Dave Cutler SFU Football Golf Tournament and the Louis Pesaglia Simon Fraser University Athletic Endowment Fund. And he has given generously of his time to numerous organizations like the Special Olympics and the United Way. Louis Pesaglia has received many honors, including our own Alumni Achievement Award and the Queen Elizabeth Golden Jubilee Medal. He is an inductee of the Canadian Football Hall of Fame, the BC Sports Hall of Fame, and the Simon Fraser University Sports Hall of Fame. Today, we once again pay proud tribute to a great athlete, one whose love of the game and of the community have made British Columbia a better place for us all. Mr. Chancellor, on behalf of the Senate of this university, I ask that you confer upon Mr. Louis Pasaglia, the degree Doctor of Laws, honoris causa. Louis Pasaglia, by the virtue of the authority vested in me and in the Senate of this university, I hereby admit you to the degree of Doctor of Laws, honoris causa. Louis Pasaglia will be hooded by Dr. John Waterhouse, Vice President, Academics. It is my pleasure now to call on Dr. Pasaglia to address convocation. Dr. Pasaglia. Thank you for the, uh, the lose earlier. I felt, uh, I felt I was at uh, a BC Lions football game, so going back in time. 
Uh, Chancellor Louis, President Stevenson, honored guests, graduates, family and friends, I'd like to thank Simon Fraser University for bestowing this honor on me. I am proud of having grown up in East Vancouver to Italian parents who had the ambition to come to this country and province and forge a better life for themselves and for their family. We moved to uh, North Burnaby when I was 14 and I grew up under the shadows of Burnaby Mountain and Simon Fraser University. I went to SFU from 1972 to 1976 and graduated with a Bachelor of Arts degree in Geography. While attending SFU, I also played football and soccer for the Klansmen. I then went on to the University of British Columbia to get my and receive my teaching certificate. Upon my graduation, I thought I had my future already planned out. I would play pro football for several years, teach high school, get married, and have a family, all in that order. But sometimes life doesn't quite work out exactly the way you plan it. I have learned that one needs to adapt to, to, adapt to change. Your life's journey may end up taking you somewhere completely different from the path you had anticipated. I always thought that I would work at a regular job, as people would say, for most of my adult life. But my passion for sports led me in a different direction. I participated in sports because I loved what it gave me, from competitiveness, teamwork, personal achievement, and camaraderie. Sports, particularly football, made me feel good about myself. I played for the fun of it, but I always worked hard, listened to my coaches, respected my teammates, and gave 100% every time I walked out on the field. I was not always the best player on the football field, but I was, I was the best I could be. When I played football, I wanted to be good at it, and trust me, sometimes it wasn't that easy. There were days that I wanted to quit, but it was always the love of playing that got me through all of it. I was no different than any of you. I simply wanted to be a part of something that I, that I enjoyed. Like school, football and life was and is a constant learning experience. There are many ups and downs during your journey, and how you handle those moments will define who you are and your life's path. I learned two important lessons along the way, to always believe in yourself and learn from your mistakes. Every time I went on the football field, I believed that I would be successful. And if by chance I made that mistake, I chose to look at that mistake as a learning experience. These two beliefs gave me the opportunity to play football for, the, for 25 years with the BC Lions Football Club. Being a professional athlete also taught me about the highs of winning, the lows of losing, at times being respected or being rejected, the art of negotiations, and the importance of giving back to the community. As a former player and now the Director of Community Relations with the BC Lions, com community involvement has always been close and dear to my heart. Sometimes we're so absorbed with our own lives that we forget about those who might truly need our help. From playing sports, I learned very early that success not only comes from winning, but from giving. I am proud of all those people who make giving, a ba giving back a priority and work hard to make our communities a better place. In closing, I want the graduates to look at the person next to you. Take a good look at them. Because every single graduating student here today has the potential to do something great. Whether it's in academics, sports, business, or being a valuable member of the community, you have a unique gift to share. Through your hard work, you have, you have already achieved one of your dreams, receiving your degree. Your dreams are never hopeless or in vain if they are truly something you believe in. I would not be here today receiving this great honor if I had not followed my passion and I would like you to follow yours. Go out and do something you love. Always believe in yourself. Be prepared to work hard at everything you do. Make the world around you a better place by giving back in some way, and everything will fall into place for you. Remember this thought, can't never did, and won't never will. I want to share one last quote with you that comes from motivational speaker Anthony Robbins that I truly believe it sums up what I'm all about, and he said, there's no greatness without a passion to be great, whether it's the aspiration of an athlete, an artist, a scientist, a parent, or a business person. I want to wish all the graduates here today 
all the best in their future successes. And thank you very much.